I'm Zach Morin, Residential and Commercial Lighting Sales Engineer at Fiber Optics Technology. And I'm Mike Blanchflower, Project Engineer at Fiber Optics. What we're doing today, what we're going to show you is an installation of our custom harness system, uh, a Starscape star ceiling effect. We're putting it into an existing ceiling, and while there is access above the ceiling, it's covered by insulation. And for this video's sake, we're actually going to put up uh, some fairing strips, some 1 by 3 inch fairing strips. Uh, to kind of simulate uh, not only installation in an existing ceiling, maybe with no access above, but also in, um, in, in new construction. Let's begin by laying out the fiber optic material you'll need for this general installation. The harness on the right will be custom manufactured based on room dimensions and light source location. The light source used to illuminate the harness and produce the star effect in this demonstration is a high-powered, long-lasting LED unit. And finally, the star bundles. Each of these will connect to one leg on the harness and are installed one fiber at a time in the drywall. The bundles used in this demonstration create a three stars per square foot star density, the most common star density. Saw horses should be used to lay out, drill, and install the fibers in the drywall in a convenient location at a convenient height. The materials you'll need are four foot by 10 foot, 3 8 inch thick drywall, one foot by three foot furring strips, two inch anchor screws, one and a quarter inch drywall screws, putty knives, masking tape, joint tape, and joint compound. The only power tools needed are a Dremel tool for drilling the fiber holes and a Phillips head handheld drill for hanging the drywall. First, we chalk line the location of the ceiling joists that run above the existing ceiling. Next, we installed the furring strips perpendicular to the joist direction, anchoring them with the two inch screws, one screw per joist. A small one inch gap in the furring strip was created from the closet where the light source will be located to the center of the ceiling. This is in order to run the common length of the harness. The light source end of the harness is fished through the ceiling into the closet and then connected to the light source to test each end of the harness legs for light transmission. We started with the small section, dry fitting our cut of drywall to ensure a good fit. Using a T-square and tape measure, we lay out a grid in 2 foot by 2 foot sections, forming 4 square foot boxes. Each box will have one 12 fiber star bundle installed into it, creating a 3 stars per square foot star density. Star bundles can come in 1 to 7 stars per square foot, but 3 is the most realistic effect. This 16 square foot section was laid out into four sections ready to install four star bundles. In each four square foot section, 12 pilot holes are drilled using the Dremel tool, utilizing a 0.75 millimeter or a 1 32nd drill bit to produce 12 random holes within the section. Avoid spacing the holes evenly. Try to group the holes in clusters of three to five, and don't worry about large gaps or spaces. This adds to the realism. A single fiber from the associated star bundle inserted into the pre-drilled hole. There will be an equal amount of two different size fibers in the bundle, so variations in star sizes can be manipulated during the installation. Ensure that all fibers are pushed through about four to five inches when installed. If you have difficulty finding the small holes, mark them with a dot using a felt tip pen. After the bundle is fully installed, if any fibers are running across the furring strip location, tape them down. Avoid the pre-drilled screw holes. The brass eyelet of the star bundle should also be secured away from any masking tape lines to keep it from being crushed or pinched in between the drywall and the furring strip when the drywall is screwed in place. Complete the star bundle installation for the remaining drywall sheet. One full sheet of drywall can be laid out, drilled, and installed per hour by two do-it-yourselfers with no prior experience. Once all star bundles are secured in their own harness leg, the drywall can now be secured in place with the drywall screws. 
To make life easier when working with larger sheets of drywall, the fully installed sheet should be put on a dead man lift and maneuvered into place. Once the drywall is in place on the lift, each star bundle needs to be attached securely to the boot end of the dedicated harness leg. Numbers on the boot indicate the length of the harness leg in feet. Use the longest harness legs available as you work around the room. Drywall should be installed from the furthest point out back to the center of the ceiling to ensure continued access to the harness, complete by installing the final center sheet. The seams of the drywall and screw holes should be filled in and smooth using joint compound. A 4 inch putty knife is recommended. When sanding, try to be mindful of the fibers as they will break off if hit too hard. A paint sprayer should be used to apply a priming coat as well as the finished coats of paint. With overspray, you will want to cover any wall decorations or hardware. Once the ceiling is painted, go back and clip the fibers back to within a quarter to a half an inch of the finished ceiling. As this was existing construction, we also repainted the walls and trim, reinstalled the fixtures, and moved the possessions back into the room.